Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. From the rising of the sun unto the going down, the name of the Lord is to be praised. Hallelujah. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and they are safe. Father, we thank you for another beautiful day. We thank you for your love. We thank you for loving us unconditionally. And Father, today we, we bring to you all of your children who may in some form be um, bombarded by the enemy uh, to take their lives, to commit suicide. We come against that tormenting spirit in the name of Jesus. And today, Lord, even as we address one of the risk factors that could push individuals into taking their lives bullying we come against that spirit of bullying we pray for those individuals whom the enemy may be using to to bully people to take advantage of them father we pray for an encounter that they will have a personal encounter with you and i pray for those individuals who are being bullied god that they will not walk in fear because your word says god has not given them the spirit of fear but of love of power and a sound mind so father even as your word go forth today i pray that those who need this word will hear it they would be encouraged they would they would gain strength from you lord and they will walk in victory we pray for deliverance to those who have been controlled by the enemy in, in, in taking pleasure in bullying others lord we pray for an encounter with you father and we thank you for your word today we thank you for deliverance and even as you spoke to those cedar trees in lebanon and they broke we speak to that spirit of the of bullying the voice of the lord is powerful the voice of the Lord is full of majesty. The voice of the Lord breaks the cedars as God spoke and broke those cedars in Lebanon. Even so, God has spoken. Every stronghold in the lives, every spirit that is that's looked that's going after individuals to bully them and to take advantage of them. We speak that that spirit we command you to be broken in the name of Jesus. And Lord, I thank you that those individuals would realize that God has a better thing for them. God has a life that is more productive for them, Father. And so, Lord, I thank you for your word. Minister to the hearts of your children today. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Good morning, all. Good morning, all. Good morning, Julia and Michelle, thank you for joining us again. Today we continue to talk about suicide. And what I want to start addressing from today, we'll be looking at risk factors that could affect suicide, that, that can push someone to take their lives. And one of the things that we look at today is bullying. But before we go into that, we'll do the confession for our children. Our confession for our children is found in 1 Timothy 1, 7. It says, God has not given me the spirit of fear, but of love, power, and a sound mind. Again, God has not given me the spirit of fear, but of love, power, and a sound mind. So even as you go out, whether it's to daycare or to school or even in your neighborhood, if there may be someone who has been bullying, bully, bully, bullying you, trying to take advantage of you, do not walk in fear. Do not walk in fear. Share it with your parents. Share it with someone so that they can help you. And always remember to call on the name of Jesus. Again, First, 2 Timothy 1, 7. God has not given me the spirit of fear, but of love, of power, and a sound mind. The confession for us adults today is simple. And we all know this, I'm sure. It's found in Mark 12, 31. Mark chapter 12, verse 31 that says, I will love. It says, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, and mind. But our confession is, I will love my neighbor as myself. I will love my neighbor as myself. And this verse uh, came about the disciples, not the, some not the disciples, uh, the followers of Jesus came and came to ask him, what is the greatest commandment? And he said, the first, the first commandment, love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, the mind, and strength. And the second greatest, love your neighbor as yourself. And so as we're talking about bullying today, people who are being bullied or people who bully others, if that individual, someone who bullies someone does not love that individual like themselves because if we love individuals as ourselves, we will think twice before we hurt someone. And bullying someone hurts that individual. Let's see what the word bullying means. I'm going to read it. One minute. 
bullying is going out of your way or perp intentionally and purposely hurting someone with your words or your actions either you injure them or you make them very uncomfortable by the things you say and the things you do you intentionally and purposely it's not by mistake you plan to do it and many people chuckle and they laugh and they think it's fun but it is a sin it is wrong and you may say where in the bible does it say it's a sin but let me let me um find that portion of scripture for you and um Where in the Bible does it say bullying is a sin? I'm going to find that it's coming up. I had it here. And it's Proverbs. If you have your Bible, you could turn Proverbs chapter 6, verse 6 to 16 to 9. It says here, it doesn't say the word bullying, but it comes out in this text. Proverbs 6, 6 to 9, it says, There are six things the Lord hates seven that are detestable to him haughty eyes a lying tongue hands that shed innocent blood a heart that devises wicked schemes that's where bullying comes in a heart that devises wicked schemes many things could come under this this this, this um, phrase a heart that devises wicked schemes Feet that are quick to rush into evil. You plan, you, you rush, you, you plan to attack someone, or you, you, you plan after school, you're going to meet this someone and you're going to be teasing them and taunting. So you quick, feet that are quick to rush into evil. A false witness who pours out lies. A person who starts up conflict in the community. That's on the new, um, the NIV. You start up conflict you start teasing someone so these god hates it god hates bullying it's not of god and so one of the things i want us to look at today uh how do we know if our child is being bullied and bullying is not only done in children it's also done it's it's very prevalent in adults we can see it in the office but we're going to touch children first what how could how do we how can we look for the signs of bullying Okay. Signs a child is being bullied. Unexplained injuries. The child may come up with injuries that are unexplainable. They cannot tell you how they got, got those injuries. Lost or destroyed clothing, books, electronics, or jewelry. Thirdly, frequent headaches or stomach aches. Your child is doing well all the while, and suddenly your child keeps complaining of stomach pain and headaches, and there is no apparent reason why this child is having these, these, these pain in his body, his or her body. So frequent headaches or stomach aches, feeling sick or faking illness. They don't want to go to school, or they're feeling sick, or they don't want to go to school. Fourth, change in eating habits. Like sudden eating habits, Suddenly skipping meals or binge eating, meaning you know they eat and then they, they throw up, they, they, they put make themselves bring up all that they ate. And um, kids may come home from school very angry because they did not eat their lunch. And you know, we've seen many movies where children are being bullied. The bully comes and say, Give me your lunch money, and they take away the child's lunch money. The child is not able to eat. And so, again, signs unexplainable injuries lost or destroyed clothing books electronics or jewelry it's lost or they can't tell what happened to it frequent headaches or stomach aches feelings or faking sickness not wanting to go to school changing eating habits um, suddenly they skip meals they're going to binge the binge eating kids may come home from school hungry because they did not eat lunch the fifth thing difficulty sleeping or frequent nightmares they can't sleep all of a sudden your child was doing well can't sleep they're having nightmares or declining in grades the, the grades are declining there's a loss of interest in school work they don't want to do it anyway and not wanting to go to school seventh sudden loss of friends and they try to avoid having a social life they do not want to be around people feeling of helpless helplessness or decreased self-esteem 
they're not bold anymore they're not outgoing anymore they they, they, they feel they don't feel they're, they're, they're good enough they feel they're inadequate they don't meet up to the standards so a low self-esteem decreased in self-esteem the ninth one is self-destructive behaviors such as running away from home harming themselves cutting on themselves or talking about suicide so these are signs that I'm going to post it today. I found this. I did some research. I found this on the website that says stopbullying.gov. These are signs to look for because many times the children would not say. Now signs of a child that is the one, the one that's bullying others. These are signs of the child that is bullying. Uh, they get into physical or verbal fights quite often. They have friends who bully others. So parents, be careful. If your child is hanging around friends that are bully, that is a bully, that are bullying others, you need to take, tell your child to stay away from those friends because eventually they'll start bullying others also. So these are signs of children who are bullies, who bully others. They are into physical and verbal fights. They have friends who bully others, are increasingly aggressive. They, they, get, they, they get sent to the principal's office quite often and they are frequently in detention. The fifth thing, they have unexplained extra money or new belongings. They have all this extra money. They're not working. Where are they getting from? They have new belongings. Somebody's watch, somebody's iPad. All these are signs, parents. They blame others for their problems. Anything happens, they're quick. They cannot say, well, yes, I did this. I was wrong. I should have taken my notes. I should have listened to my teacher. No, there's always someone to blame for what they have done that was not right or their problems. They're always quick to accuse someone. Uh, they don't accept responsibility. Here we go for their actions. They are competitive and worry about their reputation or popularity so they'll do whatever it takes to maintain that popularity to maintain that 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 repetition and that um and whatever they call it reputation and so they bully others into making themselves look better so again signs to look for in a child that's bullying others they get into physical and verbal fights they have friends who bully others they are increasingly aggressive they are sent quite often to the principal's office or they are in detention frequently and then they have excuses they tell their mom parents we have to be wise because some children they lie to their parents and you're thinking that it's everybody else's problem if you see your child is all constantly and especially if you're a praying woman or man of god start praying lord give me discernment here because sad to say there's some of our children, we mean well parents, we brought them up in the things of God. They go to church every Sunday, but somehow they allow the enemy to influence them and they begin to do these, 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 these behaviors. And again, we have to be careful. If you find your daughter or son is hanging out with someone who is a bully, talk to your daughter or son and tell them this is not because eventually you will become like that individual. And so they blame others for their um, problems. They have unexplained extra money or new belongings. They don't accept responsibility for the actions and they blame others for their problems. And because they're competitive, they worry about their reputation and their popu popu popularity. Now, as I said, bullying, that's one of the, one of the, one of the main areas in which children are pushed into taking their lives. Children bully them in school and they even have this hyperbullying even online, on Facebook, on the media. There's some things that children would tell each other uh, that was so hurtful that will push children to commit suicide. And I would encourage parents, I know many children, they would say, they don't want you to check their Facebook or they don't want you to check we have to be smart parents you have to be wise and in a in a very and starting from young if your child is on facebook you said yes when they want to go in there i would allow you to but with the only way you could i have because i'm your mother i'm responsible I, our father i will be checking your facebook periodically i'll be checking your 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 whatever whatever 
DRLD on whatever social media you check on it because sometimes children they look so nice in front they behave one way in front of their parents but when they are with a company they would gang up and bully another child tease another child and sometimes they think it's fun and joke but if there's a child out there that's listening to me it's not funny you hurt people and it's wrong God hates it it's a sin and you push children to kick take their lives as I said when we started in 2016 talking about suicide one of the young men, a little, I think he was nine years old in Pennsylvania, he took his life. Why? Because he was being bullied. His, his parents talked to the principal, but somehow they couldn't control it. I don't know what happened, but he was being bullied. And I'm going to say to you children, if you are in a position where you're being bullied, talk to your parents. You may be afraid, and that's one of the reasons, one of the things. Some children, you may say, why don't they talk? They are afraid. They don't want to tell the teacher. So parents encourage your children. I know some of you have been doing this before. Or there's a child or a young lady, young man who has been bullied. And you don't want to tell on that person or you don't want to approach the person. You let an adult know. Let your parent know. And your parent is going to talk to the principal or the teacher. And, you know, your parent, parents, we're going to be wise. Ask the teacher. You use wisdom. Ask most teachers, you know. I have learned you have to use wisdom in the classroom if a child comes to me when I was in the classroom and tells me what another child is doing I will observe that child and believe you me I find the child in the act so they would not say that child came and told me to go after that child to hurt that child or to tease that child again I, I would keep looking and I would find the Lord would allow me to find him or her in the act and I said I saw what you did just now why did you do that? Is that a right thing? You know what the school rules are. Would you like her to treat you like that? Would you like him? So even teachers, well, I sure, I'm sure you know that, but we have to use wisdom. If a parent tells you something, we use wisdom because many times when children would not tell parents because they know if they tell parents and the child knows that the child did that, they would come back to that child and the child is afraid and so many things. So we all have to use wisdom and children do not let anyone keep bullying you to the point where you want to take your life. No, the moment it starts, if you are not bold enough to tell your teacher, tell an adult, tell your parent and your parent is going to take care of that. And as we go parents, we're going to pray up, especially Christian parents. Let's pray for that child because many times I've found out that those children who are bullying others, they have a problem. They, they are not secure in themselves. Many of them are going through things. And so some of them may be in lack at home. And so that's the way of getting from others. They bully them. They take things from them in a, in a, in a, you know, without their permission. And some of them may be being abused at home by someone else, be bullied by a bigger sibling or whatever, and so they come to school and they pounce on someone else. So we have to use wisdom. We pray for that child, and I know it hurts. No parent wants to see a child bullying their child. No one. And so we got to hold back that emotions, mom and dad. We got to hold it back, and we go in prayer. We go in prayer, and if we, if it comes to a place where it has to be a meeting with the parents, you be prayed up, and whatever you say, let it come out in love. And when you get into that meeting where you have to meet with the parents in that classroom, you say, Holy Spirit, show me what's going on in this family. Show me where this where, where this is coming from, so I would know how to pray. So many of the children that are bullying others, it's a cry for help also. Some of them are also being bullied, and some of them because... They don't know better. And so we have to we have to react in love. Yes, we want to protect our children, but let's do it in love. So again, children. And another reason why some children don't tell their parents, I've heard this before. Miss Red says, people hurt people, hurt people. This spies to kids. Okay, I would say 99% of the kids that bully are hurted that's right and there's more that you know she said hurt people hurt people that's true and most of them that are bullying that they've been hurt and so um applies okay yes <laughs> thank you thank you yes applies but yeah and so hurt people hurt people and it does not only apply to children that's true adults also and i'm going to come to that in the office there are some some employers that bullies their their, their, their employees and co-workers that bullies their employees so it's not only to children but but I'm, I'm just starting off with children today so um we need to just pray for God's strength wisdom and direction in handling this and those of you who have been bullying people and you think it's a, it's a good thing you want and many times bullying comes from a controlling spirit especially within the, in the office adults you may have a, a friend um, 
as an adult and they want you to 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 like to, you know <laughs> it's amazing even it is if you do not like a certain movie that they like or they want you to dress a certain way that they dress and if you don't like that style they criticize you in a way that you feel so condemned you know it's a way of bullying you into liking what they like bullying you into liking what they they want even in marriages spouses bully each other and, and this this is wrong and some people suffer in silence we have to stop we have to stop we need help what does the word say but as i just read in proverbs 6 it says that god hates that god hates that um oh and another thing another reason why children do not tell parents i have heard while growing up i have heard parents said to children you don't come home telling me that this child bully you in school today you learn to fight and you just and the parents are mad at the child are angry at the child one man said you come home again and tell me that child took away your pencil i'm gonna give you a licking no father please that is not a way to <laughs> jesus the things that some children go through you know that's not a way to tell a child to handle a situation where someone is harassing them or bullying them. Your child may be soft-natured and thank God for that. So you would tell the child, whenever this occurs, talk to your teacher, go to the principal. If they don't come and tell me as a parent and then you parent, but do not. That's one of the reasons why children do not tell their parents. Women suffer in silence, some men too. That's right, men and women. That's true because there's some women who bullies, yeah. Uh, I hate a parent. I have, uh, I hate to, uh, or a parent have an attitude. Okay, all right. So, um, yeah, children would not tell their parents that they're being bullied because of the parent's reaction. The parents would be mad at that child. Now that child is going through so much already just to get up in the morning and go to school. And sometimes the children are not even sleeping at night and they may not tell you. So we have to be discerning, you know, <laughs> It's always good, I say, to at least have one meal a day where you sit with your child and you look at that child's face and face and body expression. You sit at that dining table with that child and you look at that child. The child may not be saying stuff, but the actions, their body actions and their facial expression, look in the eye and you're going to know something is going on there. They do not want to talk because they do not want to see, as some of them call it, um, what, tattered tale? Oh, she's a tattered tale. Children are going to tease them. And then parents, we have to use wisdom. Do not get angry at your child and do not say, you stupid, why you make them do that to you? That is a little girl, why you make that? No, please don't, you're pushing your child away from you. We need to keep away from that. Yes, you may be mad, do not be mad at your child. See this as an attack of the enemy coming over your child. Pray with your child and you that pray protection over your child and you say, Lord, as I say, Lord, I bring conviction over that to that child. That child, when that child is about to come to where he wants to uh, bully my daughter, my son, you would just distract him, cause the teacher to see what's good. There are so many prayers we could pray, and I'm telling you, God fights for his children. He does. And so I just want to encourage us. Um, the other thing, yeah, in the office, one, let me get this. Um, as I said, there may be some, oh, as I heard, so sad. My daughter was telling me yesterday, there was a young, there was a woman, she was feeling sick and she called in to tell him she was sick and what did they the supervisor he was um very very ang angry at her he actually bullied her into coming to work she went to work and what happened was so sad during the day they missed her they went into the bathroom the woman in the bathroom died of a heart attack she died of a heart attack. So you bosses, I mean, when I heard that, my, it just brought chills to my, oh, okay, it was on social media, she was saying. Um, that just brought chills to me. Some employers could be so harsh on their employees. I've heard employees going home with, with pain in their chest. They can't administer to their children. So if you are an employee out there and you think you are the almighty whatever and you threaten your employ employer and you threaten your employee, you better do this if you want to keep your job. And sometimes you even threaten the person to lie for the company and you bully in them. You threaten them because especially you know, if it's a single parent and they have children and they need the money and you threaten them, God is watching at you man or woman or man. God is watching at you. Do not do that. 
you heard so many lies and I hope that this story that, that just I think it was on social media that you heard of this supervisor that bullied her pushed this young this woman when she called in to say she was sick she couldn't go to work and they threatened her and she went in and she died let this be a wake-up call for you bosses who think you are the almighty one up there God has given you a business or God has given you a position and you you you, you, you just control people it's terrible we you need to stop so many people complain so many people in the night cannot sleep they, they, they just get up and push themselves because they have a rent to pay we have to stop doing that people you have to and spouses men and women who've been bullying their spouses you know what you did you know what you've done that controlling spirit it has to stop and family members also control each other with the things you say and the things you do we have to stop we have to stop the confession today I will treat my neighbor as I treat myself some people when they have power it gets to their head they figure it you know and they they, 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 they they take advantage of people how would you like someone to treat you not because you think someone is not as smart as you that give you the right to pull down on that person and abuse them verbally that doesn't give you the right who gave you that intelligence? Who allowed you to get that job? I'm saying to some of you, be careful because this is a warning. You continue, especially if you're abusing a child of God. If you are abusing a child of God, the word of God says, touch not my anointed. Do my daughter, do my child no harm. For I, the Lord God, am a jealous God. And whatever you've done to the least of my brethren, you're doing unto me. Oh, I feel this so strong in my spirit. There is a boss out there that has been abusing a child of God. And God is saying to you today to stop because this is my child. And what you're doing to my child, you you're doing to me so stop this is your last warning I just feel that so strong in my spirit the Lord said my daughter has been crying out to me and you've been constantly insulting her embarrassing her in front of people you know she's a woman of God and you've been doing it over the years but I'm listening and what you've been doing to my daughter God said you are doing to me so you need to stop because I am a jealous God that's my daughter that's my child do not continue abusing her and bullying her because you know she needs that job because that job, you could be out of it in a minute. I just have to say what I have to say. God takes care of his children. And as I say this, you know, parents, <laughs> the same way God takes care of us as children, mm, he's going to take care of you and your child. If someone is bullying you, you take it up to God because the word of God says vengeance is mine. I'm telling you, I had so much fight in getting this out this morning. I got up since about 5 o'clock. And I had everything set up. I had all my scriptures up there and everything. And the moment I set up my camera, it just vanished, everything. And I said, the devil, I had all my scripture and everything, the verses, but I'm going to put it up later. But it got late and you notice I came on late. I couldn't get to put it back on. And I said, the devil is a liar because I know this is something the Lord placed in my spirit to share today. The bullying has to stop in schools. It has to stop in our homes. Family members, it's amazing. Family members does that to each other. And then they, 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 they bully that person. And when that person starts drawing back and, and, and not wanting to associate with other family members, they start saying things about them that are not true, spreading lies about them. If you are a family member and you're doing that to a family member, God says stop. And, and, and sometimes he said it also happens in people who said you're Christians, people who say they know me as God and Savior. You are doing that. I'm not blind, he's saying. I am not blind. You may think you're having fun, but I'm seeing. And what you have done to my daughter, what you are doing to my daughter or my son, you are doing to me. So you need to stop, says the Lord says the Lord what what I what I did to that individual or what I'm about to do or the lies that I spread about in that that individual would I like that individual to do it to me and some of you are so what should I say you try you have always have excuse oh she's too stupid if she was smarter than that then this one happened to her if she would want to talk up that one happened to her oh so you're looking for someone to take advantage of there is no excuse no excuse for bullying none whatsoever and those of us who've been serving God faithfully, God is saying, do not stand by. And you see someone is bullying the other, do not stand by. If you see someone, tell your children. If you see someone is bullying someone in school, come home and tell me. And as a parent, we know what we will do. But do not stand by and say, I don't want to get involved. There are certain ways in which we could do things. Holy Spirit, absolutely. You know there's a husband that's abusing a wife and bullying her. You pray. And the Lord is going to show you a way. There are ways in which we can help. So we're not going to stand by. We're going to help. I'm going to post the scripture verse that I had previously, as I said, you know, all went. But God is faithful. So let us come together. 
as men and women of God, children, to, let's pray for those who are being bullied and the bullies, those who are bullying because they need help. As my sister said, hurt people, hurt people. They're hurt. And since so all they know, they go and hurt others. So we pray today that they would have a revelation of who God is. God would send people their way that, that, that would treat them with love and they would realize this is not a way to treat someone. And they would always, Lord, I pray right now in the name of Jesus. Those individuals that are bullying and is finding pleasure in doing it, Father, the next time they think of doing it, or they, even if they have a plan right now, they would hear, they would ask themselves, bring that conviction, and they would say, would I like this individual to treat me this way? Would I like them to tell the lies about, I said about them, I'm about to say about them, would I like them to do that to me? Help us, Father. To love our neighbors as ourselves. And most of all, to love God because God, if we love you, we would not be bullying others. Because the first command you say, love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, thy soul, and thy mind. All your heart, your soul, your mind. And then you love your neighbors yourself. So fast, Father, we pray that we will have a love relationship with you. We would fall in love with you. We would not only come to you when we need you to pay our bills or when somebody is sick. But we would have that relationship with you that we would want to obey you. And one of your commandments is to love you with our heart, soul, and mind. And if we love you, God, with our heart, soul, and mind, and our strength, we will obey your word. And we would love our neighbors as ourselves. So have us, Father, not to believe the lie of the enemy, not to get caught up into the, 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 what the enemy is telling us to do, Father. But in our pain, we will bring our pain to you. We will seek help. Those who are in pain, they will seek help. And they would refrain from hurting and embarrassing and bullying others. So, Father, we give you praise, honor, and glory. And I thank you for the strength that you have released to your children. They would know that God is going to take care of them. God has not given them the spirit of fear. And right now, Lord, I come against, oh, my God, in the name of Jesus. A child who's being bullied. And the enemy is telling him, you could stop that. And the enemy is telling him, giving him things to do to go and hurt people in school. We have heard so many people that, that kill others because they were bullied. So we come against whatever plan the enemy is putting in the minds of the children who are being bullied to go and retaliate, to go and hurt others, Father, in the name of Jesus, or even adults who've been bullied, that, that, that whatever plan the enemies put in their mind to do to hurt others, they will not, Father. They will not, Father. They will not. They will come to you because you say, vengeance is mine. I will take care. You will take care of that situation, God. They will not take matters into their hands, but they will come to you. So, Lord, I pray today that you will send the right people in the parts of those individuals that need help in this area, Father. And I thank you that even as you speak to us to go and help or, or, or whatever you ask us to do, your children, we will not walk in fear. We will use wisdom and we will seek your guidance as to when and how and where and what we should say when we are ministering to these individuals. So we thank you for your strength. We thank you for your love God and Lord I pray that those people who are bullies who are the abusers that they will know that you love them but you hate the act you hate what they do and those who are being abused and being bullied they would know that you love them and you are here to help them they would not believe the lie of the enemy that no one loves them no one cares about them they would not believe the words that they heard that they're stupid or they're ugly or whatever those tormenting voices those words that has been thrown in their direction but they would know God loves me. God loves me. God has a plan for me. I'm special to God. I'm fearfully and wonderfully made, Father. And they would walk in that. So, Father, I give you praise. And I thank you, Father, that this word will go for it. And those who need it will hear it. The enemy would not twist it. They would hear it the way that you want them to hear it because you want to help them. It's coming to them in love. So I pray that they would receive your word and they will ask of your forgiveness. In Jesus' name, amen. And even as I pray, the Lord said to lead those of you who need help in this area in, in a prayer of repentance. And so you may repeat after me, please. Dear God, please forgive me for the times I've been bullying. And you may call the names of the individual. Forgive me for the times when I lashed out on people because of what I was feeling. And the many times I've bullied people, I've lied on them, the things that I said to hurt them. Forgive me, God. Help me, God. Give me, help me to love like you love. Give me your strength not to do that again, not to listen to that voice, to hurt someone or to bully someone. In Jesus' name, amen. And our prayer for those of you who may be thinking of killing yourselves, Lord, I thank you for loving me. 
I thank you for reminding me that I'm special to you and you have a plan for me. And today, God, I draw on your strength. I would not listen to the voice of the enemy. I would not allow anyone to make me hurt myself by cutting myself or starving myself or, 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 or doing things to hurt me or running away from home. I will come to you, God, and I thank you for sending the people to help me. Thank you, God, that I will not walk in fear because you have not given me the spirit of fear but of love, power, and a sound mind. And I receive your love, God. I receive your power. I receive your sound mind in Jesus' name. Amen. God loves you, dear. All of you, whomever, whether you're the abuser or you're the one who abuses others, God loves you. And he wants the best for you. He's here to help you. Again, if you have no one to turn to or to talk to, email us, godlovesness at gmail.com. Or you may not know to... You may I have an email, you could call me. I'm gonna give up my number. Whoever wants to do with it, what you could call me. My name is Lois, 804-218-5179. There are many people in the body of Christ that I know loves you, and they're here to pray you through, they're here to help you. And we don't only pray, we do other things. As the Lord directs us, we will help you in that area. God loves you. Have a blessed day. Thank you for joining us today. And um, we're gonna sing that song. Our, our team song, I made it our team song because some individuals, um, you're in a position where you seem like, man, I don't know. I don't, you know, the, the, the devil has been bringing stuff to your minds or some of you have been doing this for years and it's hard for you to get out from, from, from um, that abusive relationship or whatever or it's hard for the abuser to stop abusing because it's become a strong it's become such a habit and it's hard but god is going to help you you call on him he's going to help you every impossible situation god works he is the miracle working god so we're going to sing of a song thank you lord it's coming Hallelujah. Miracle working God. Oh, thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Oh, glory to God. Glory to God. <laughs> glory to God. Glory to God. We're going to get it. It's telling me not to In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Lord, we bless your name. We praise and exalt you. We give you praise. 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 And we say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for helping us, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. It's done in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Oh, Hallelujah. Let us exalt his name together. together. Thank you, my sister Felicia. Just keep me in your prayers. Keep me in your prayers. Hallelujah. And if any of you have anything you want to share on this, just let me know. You can make a video and send it. Anything that the Lord has placed in your heart or whatever the Lord has placed in your heart, just let me know. You share it because together we do this together. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Miracle working God. Miracle working God. Nothing is impossible. He's a miracle working God. Oh, yes. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yay, go. Regardless of what's going on in that job, do not walk in fear. God is with you and He's fighting your battles. You just work as unto God. And leave that boss, leave that employee to God and watch God work. Watch God work. Those who will be trying to bully you out of that position. For you to be, for you to be fired, you rejoice because your steps are ordered by God. 
God is going to work it out. Do not worry. Rejoice. Because the steps of a righteous man are ordered by God. Mm. Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you right now for the miracle that's good that's taking place in the lives of your children. Hallelujah. Mm, nothing, nothing. Oh, he's a miracle working God. Hallelujah. Mm. And you may be in a relationship for years. I encourage you, seek the Lord, get someone, talk to someone. Do not allow, as an adult, do not allow that individual to keep bullying you. Do not allow them to abuse you. There is help out there. Spiritual help and also physical help. There are places that can help you. Do not walk in fear. They may threaten you. If you walk out of this abusive relationship, you can't make it on your home because you're not qualified. You're not educated. Do not listen to those voices. God is here to help you. Seek help. Do not walk in fear. Do not walk in fear, my brother, my sister. Counseling. There is counseling out there for all of us. Thank you, Jesus. Nothing is impossible. Don't walk in fear. God says, I love you. And this is not the life I have for you. I have a better life for you. I want you to live in fullness. My daughter, I love you. I love you. Do not let someone tell you who you are. Do not let someone tell you who you are. You are beautiful, fearfully and wonderfully made. And I have a plan for you. Do not be believed the lie of the enemy. Because you are special to me. My God specializes in the impossible. When you're pain, your depression. Do not run to the border. Do not run to the drugs. Do not take your life. Do not cut on yourself. No, you are a precious child to God. Your body is God's temple. God loves you and he's going to help you. Do not turn to that. That's what the enemy wants you to do. And when you do that, guess what? He laughs at you in the corner and says, I got her where I want her. I got him where I want him. Now you show the enemy, you're not going to listen to his voice. You're not going to give away his voice because he did not make you. He does not know the plans God has for you. And you are going to walk in obedience. You're going to keep your body pure because your body is the temple of the living God. You're not going to mark up on your body. You're not going to take drugs anymore. And you're not going to kill yourself because you are a mighty man and woman of God. You are a powerhouse. God has great things in store, and he wants to use you for his honor and glory. Do not believe the lie of the enemy. You are special. Greatness lies inside of you. Love you, guys. Love you. Remember, God loves you. Mm, God loves you. And even though you made a mistake, God still loves you. He never changes. Be blessed. Be blessed. I hope this was an encouragement to someone. And those of us who know the Lord, and let's look out for others. Let's look out for others. And Seek God's wisdom as we try to help. We pray, but there are times God would ask us to step up and do other things in addition to prayer. Thank you all for joining us. Have a great day. And um, let's be prayed up. Go out, give someone a compliment. Be nice. Just just, just love on people. Just show the love of God. All righty? We'll be back on Monday morning talking more about this. To God be the prayers. Our children, our friends, our neighbors, they are not taking their lives. No more in the name of Jesus. They will know that lives are precious. It's a gift from God. In whatever situation, they'll bring it to God. Thank you all. In Jesus' name, amen. I like this song. Please share. Who sings it? Oh, this song, Miracle Working God? That's the song you're talking about, Felicia? Uh, okay. Yeah, if that's that's the song I sang, the Lord gave me when I was after He lead me from Lupus. So I'll give you the link, and um, so you can share it. To God be the glory. All right, darling, be blessed. Love you all. Love you all. Have a great day, and um, see you guys on Monday. We will be back at six thirty a.m. Take care. God bless you. Bye.